Hey guys, welcome back to Kiols and Jarvis has just beaten B Dave uh, on Misfits Series X11, whatever it's bloody called. But yeah, uh, Jarvis getting a big win over B Dave. He's now um, one of the Misfits champions. Oh, I, I, I honestly don't know. I don't pay much attention to all that stuff when it comes to Misfits uh, with the titles and stuff. But yeah, great fight though. Great, great, great fight. Um, yeah, to be fair, I enjoyed that one. I, I actually really did enjoy that fight. Um, Faye Chavez is not a bad boxer at all, to be fair. He's actually got some decent skills, to be fair to him. So, yeah, I feel like you definitely need to give Faye Chavez his... Well, it's not Faye Chavez anymore. Well, you definitely need to give Chavez his props. He, he He's good. Like, he's a, he's actually a decent... He's actually a decent boxer. He's got some decent skills, to be fair to him. He's probably one of the best boxers in the influence the scene, in my opinion. He's got one of probably the best styles. And looks like... Probably looks like the most pro boxer out of a lot of these influencer boxes, uh, to be fair. But yeah, in my opinion, job is won every round. Uh, B. Dave, big credit to him, show big heart. And, you know, B. Dave, he... He, in my opinion, he lost all the rounds, but he was getting better as it went on, uh, to be fair to him. Obviously, you, you know, in that first round phase, Jarvis got a, like, what was it, nine seconds knocked down, knocked down in nine seconds or something. Jarvis knocked B. Dave down. B. Dave was on wobbly legs for the rest of the round, covered up well, though. But And then for the rest of the fight, though, he's dropping, B. Dave was just dropping his hands so much. Jarvis was really good at going to the body, putting some decent combos together. Uh, and then, you know, third round, B. Dave was decent, coming at him with some good ones. He did look like he kind of hurt Jarvis a bit, but Jarvis has got some really, he has got probably one of the best shins in the influencer scene, uh, to be fair. Jarvis is hard, he is really hard to knock down, to be fair to him. Uh, and, you know, but B. Dave showing great heart in that fight for a while. And but I just feel like B Dave's style's all wrong for Jarvis though. Jarvis he actually has you know a decent understanding of boxing and was able to box really well. He's he he used the jab really really well. Overall in the influencer scene, Faze Jarvis and King Kenny look the most like pro boxers. Definitely, it, it, that, that's my opinion. They've both got good jabs, Jarvis and King Kenny. So, and you know, overall their style's good. Jarvis, I feel like the thing with him though, the thing with Faze Jarvis is it looks like he was kind of gassing out a bit. Like, I don't think he's got the most amazing gas tank in the world. That's the thing. He was looking a little bit more sloppy as it went on, uh, to be fair. But, you know, I suppose, you know, it's because, you know, and B. Dave was able to up the pace and Jarvis was getting easier to hit every round. Uh, that's the thing. And I do think that's because Jarvis was tiring a bit. But Jarvis, it, nothing was really phasing him. He was boxing well, to be fair, using the jab well, going to the body well, and putting some good combos together. While B. Dave was coming at him like a madman. And, you know, fair play to B. Dave. You know, you need to give the guy respect. He's got good heart and wants it bad. So, you know, you need to show him his props. Round four. I haven't spoken about that one yet. Round four was an interesting one. B. Dave getting some good success, but I feel like Jarvis was doing well. Better off with the jab here. Um, and I, I, I'm just putting some decent shots together in round five again. Jarvis doing it right with the jab. Pitching some decent shots together as well. I feel like as it went on, Jarvis was going to the body a lot less. Uh, you know, I think True Georgie said in com on commentary as well, he needs to go to the body more like he was earlier on. He's going, you know, he's not doing, he's not going to the body as much as he was in like those first two rounds. Kind of, uh, but yeah, that, but yeah, look, overall though, Jarvis looked good in that fight. Jarvis looked good in that fight, to be fair. And he showed me a good understanding of the sport and Jarvis is looking better every time he fights. 100% he is. And did what he needed to do today, to be fair. Uh, and, you know, Jarvis looks like he, you know, he does hit hard as well. He does hit hard as well. And, you know, fair play to uh, B. Dave for taking some big shots off Faze Jarvis tonight. And B. Dave's always there in a proper slugfest. He's always in a good fight, B. Dave, to be fair. And Jarvis, you know, Jarvis is young, improving well. And in my opinion, Jarvis could be one of these top the top guys in the influencer scene, in my opinion. He's already a champion. So, you know, he... Um, he, they said he was at 155 or something, um, Faze Jarvis, but yes, yeah, so like, he's already top, and he's, all, uh, he's, in my opinion, one of the top guys in, in the influencer boxing scene, he looks, you know, he does look like he's got 
a good understanding. And, you know, jo Jarvis, he, he did look like he was coming in with some decent counter shots as well, to be fair. So, yeah, the thing that, so, you know, I, 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 I feel like, you know, Jarvis solid putting his shots together as well, to be fair. Uh, it, it was good stuff to see. It was good stuff to see from Faye Jarvis, and he's only going to keep on improving. Uh, it, it's good to see from him. You've got to give the guy credit. B Dave, where does he go from here? For B Dave, I feel like he's going to go back to the tag team boxing. But after the fight, though, to be fair, obviously B Dave and Pineda, they want that rematch with what? Wasabi and Nick Lamau, or whatever his name is. Um, he wants to. He, uh, but Jarvis then called out Wasabi or Nick Lamau. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be uh, uh, Jarvis and Nick Lamau, or whatever his name is. Jarvis Wasabi as well would be a decent fight, in my opinion. I feel like there are some good fights out there for, uh, for Jarvis in the influencer scene. Uh, I feel like. Who would I like to see him fight? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Wasabi decent fight. I don't know, Deji, Jarvis and Deji. I think it's a good. I think that's a good fight. I'd like to see that. I'm not. They'll probably have some issues with the weight though. I feel like Deji's a bit, he um, a bit heavier. But no, Deji, uh, De they're, they're similar height though. Yeah, Deji and uh, Jarvis. I mean, Jarvis and Joe Weller could be a decent fight. Like Joe Weller said, he's coming back to the scene. So Jarvis and Joe Weller, I feel like Weller can cut down to. I feel like Weller can get to 155. He he can get down to that weight. So. Yeah, Jarvis and Joe Weller, I think, could be good for... Uh, I think Jarvis definitely beats him. But no, I mean, it, it, it's interesting. It's interesting. Anyway, good, solid performance by Jarvis, but uh, respect to be Dave. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.